Hello and welcome to this demonstration of an integration between Spring Surf and OpenCMIS. Spring Surf is a lightweight development environment for building web applications and OpenCMIS is a Java client library that allows you to access any CMIS compliance repository. By combining the two we create a development platform for building CMIS enabled web applications. In this video I will demonstrate a CMIS browser application built on top of this integration and walk through the code that implements it. This is actually part two of this series of video blogs. I would highly recommend that you watch part one if you haven't already as this introduces the basic concepts of Spring Surf and OpenCMIS as well as walk through the code and features of the basic CMIS browser. In part two we introduce some new components for example we introduce the property and relationships viewer we also introduce the ability to view renditions of a document as well as issue queries and behind all of these new components we introduce a new capability that allows an application to connect to multiple CMIS repositories at once. Okay, let's take a look at the new version of the CMIS browser. As before, it asks me to log in to a repository, so I'm just logging into my local Alfresco CMIS repository. I can browse down into its folder hierarchy. So I'll fold, browse down into Sites, Ren, and Document Library, and here we can see some documents. Select the first one. Um, once I've selected a document, I get to see some details about it. So I can see, for example, its properties. These are CMIS properties. So for example, I can see CMIS name, which is a string, and its value. I can also see object type ID, which is an ID, and its value is CMIS document. Um, I can see its creation date and information about its versions, etc. etc. I can also see any relationships that are tied to this object. In this case, there aren't any. And I can also see any renditions that might be available for this document. As this document was created via an Alfresco share site, we automatically add renditions to those documents. So in this case we can see the document's thumbnail and we can also see a web preview version of the document. This web preview is used by our Fresco Share so that a user can view the content without having the original native application that built it. Okay, let's go back up to the parent folder. We can also see the details of the folder as well. So again we can see properties of the folder such as its path, in this case slash sites, slash ren, slash document library, and we can see its object type ID, which in this case is CMIS folder. Okay, let's go back to the front page of the repository and now drill down into the query component. The query component just allows you to simply enter any CMIS query language statement and a page size and then execute the query. The results are returned and we can page through those results. The columns here are the columns that were selected in this uh, SQL statement. And for any document we can drill down and view its details such as its properties and relationships and renditions. Let's just go back to the query and adjust the query. So I'm going to add some aliases. So as name and as ID and I'm going to put a where clause on there so where name is like open wildcard execute the query and here we find the file that we just viewed through the folder browser we can drill down on it and view its contents etc okay let's now move on to see missed repository connections. If I click on this link here I can now see the current connections that I have and at the moment I just have the one connection which is to my local repository. 
what I can do now is I can connect to other CMIS repositories. In this particular case I've pre-configured this application so that it is aware of five CMIS repositories in total. What I'm going to do here is connect to an IBM hosted repository. And I'm now going to browse down into its folder hierarchy. So now I'm getting the same functionality that I did before but this time against a different vendor's repository. So let's browse down into this folder here. And click on a document here. Again, we can see the document properties. In this case, we've got the usual properties such as CMIS name and object type ID, but we've also got other properties here as well, such as classification status and owner. And we can view the content. So basically we have exactly the same functionality that we had with our fresco but this time against IBM's FileNet repository. Okay let's go back to the connections and now we can see that we've got two connections and if I wanted to I can go back and browse my local CMIS repository as I did before. Okay I'm going to disconnect from my local Alfresco repository and now connect to the Alfresco hosted repository at clmas.alfresco.com So now I'm connected to uh, clmas.alfresco.com and the hosted IBM repository. You may be familiar with the AIM IECM hosted demo which provides an example of how to use CMIS to connect to multiple repositories and search across them for accessing electronic health records. It just so happens that these two repositories that I'm connected to right now um, are also used by that AIM IECM demo. And I'm going to show a capability here which allows me to query across both of those repositories at once from this application. So I'm going to just adjust my query here and select a property specific to the model that was used by the AIM IACM demonstration. And I'm going to, rather than select from CMIS document, select from the AIM demo document. Let's cut this down to three per repository and execute. And now you can see that we've got results back from both the IBM repository and the Alfresco repository. I can drill down into a document from the IBM repository and see its properties, uh, view its content. I can also browse into the folder where that document is located and now I can start browsing around the IBM repository. If I go back to the query results, I can for example page through the results for our frescoes and select a document. For example this one, again I can see its properties, view its content, and go back to the parent folder which starts allowing me to browse around a fresco. So as you can see from this one application, we have the ability to connect to multiple uh, CMIS repositories and act against them in a consistent manner. So I'm just going to go back to browsing the Alfresco repository and just show you a little bit of the URL here. So you'll notice in the URL that we have uh, slash c slash hosted alfresco slash two. This is the uh, essentially the connection name to the alfresco repository and we encode that connection name in all the URLs. Um, this allows the application to remain stateless. So if I go back to browsing the IBM one we'll now see in the URL that we have 
slash c slash hosted IBM slash two as the connection ID. And the authentication, which in this case is just basic HTTP authentication, also hooks into this connection ID on the URL um, so that it can determine whether it needs to authenticate or not against the repository realm.